Hello, Nomad's Sculpt, and this video is about voxel remesh, such narrow gaps or problematic zones. I record this video with version 177, but it should work with version 176 um, also. So here, this is a test object, and when you select in the hierarchy both meshes, and you press voxel remesh, you get something like this. Um, sure, you can um, increase the resolution here and remesh it, but it's not, yeah, here the, the cut is much longer and um, when you remesh it, yeah, it's sometimes not perfect. So what can you do? I start with a new scene. So I add a sphere and I validate this object. So when you split here, sorry, front, I check only the settings. Um, when you split here the mesh for a mouth, for example, like this. So you get two meshes. And this mesh here, you can add a layer. Here, add a layer. And it's useful to to give the, um, the mesh a color, something like this, for example, and paint this. And here in the layer, call this the mask. And then add a second layer. So the mask layer is only for the color and this layer is for the um, adjustments. So when you use now here the move brush, so this is the, the mouth you want. And when you add a new layer, You can open the mouth more like this. So okay. And with the layers here, you can open and close your mouth. And when you select now both meshes and voxel remesh it, so you can bring it here back to the position you want and you got no problems. So I, I go a step back. When you choose here a, a, a lower value for remeshing, So you can bring the, the mesh back in position. You can change um, uh, this slider also to the complete closed uh, position. And you can change here the slider for the color. And you can also add a new layer and smooth the mesh here, for example, like this. So, and with the layers, you can control um, your, your mesh. And here with the color, it's possible to create a mask via the color 
slider. Here is your color slider and next to it there's a mask button. Here you can mask it and yeah, the color we don't need at the moment. This is only the mask you can see and then it's possible to adjust your mesh when you create a new layer. So And now when you want to voxel remesh it, you can create here a offset. I think we have to use the other layer, this layer we have to use. And now when you press voxel, you can remesh it. So you have no gaps. Okay. <laughs> I hope you understand it and have fun with sculpting. Ciao.